Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let's get to open up the phone lines in case you'd love to be a part of uh, live issues. Feel free to call in on 0977 624270. That is 0977 624270 for that interaction. My guest this morning is uh, Economic Front Party leader, uh, uh, President Winter Kabimba, is my guest uh, as we are discussing pertinent issues. Let's get to hear what uh, your thoughts are as we pick up this one here as a first caller. Good morning. Good morning, Eugene Lungo. Good morning to you, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Good morning, Honorable Kavimba. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Yet again, Mr. Kavimba. Sure, we are collected on the line to FM Radio. How are you, sir? I'm Kasoka, the man who called from the very yesterday. All right. Mr. Kasoka, good to have you here. Talk to us. Yes, Mr. Kavimba. In 2011, I was there. I was uh, quite alert when you moved the motion to remove the unit of Rukia Banda. And uh, from the look of things, there was a lot of objection from the MP. And from my own observation, you didn't reach the two thirds requirement that was it. Uh, you were supposed to be uh, uh, achieved. Uh, Rukia Banda removed. Removal of weed immunity, I think, was done illegally. First of all, um, I think this is the best time now for you to tell the nation how many people were in parliament on that day and how many people voted to have weed immunity uh, removed. If it amounted to, to say, from my calculation, we insisted on moving the motion, even when people objected. I think you remove the motion, I mean you, you remove the, the, the Arabic immunity, I think on less than 100 people, <laughs> you know, I, I think it was 98 or so. You know, it was far less from the two thirds required the threshold. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another question. So, in my small book, I've written a book. Mm. There's a chapter I've entitled uh, Fighting Other People's Battles. From my observation, you've been fighting Lungu's battles from way back when he was fighting Akalinde. It's like the moment you mentioned that he was your classmate, Edgar Lungu was your classmate, I think the narrative has been quite funny and twisty, if you know what I mean. Um, even when you know that he broke some of the basic principles of the Constitution. For example, when somebody is petitioned as president, he is supposed to stand as captain and leave the speaker to act as president. You ignore that and simply look at it as normal. There is another provision in the Constitution which says if somebody is an MP, for the for a constituency, for example, Rusambo was an MP for a constituency. You cannot appoint him as provincial minister. You know, you cannot have MP uh, the, the like Rusambo was, and then at the same time, I think it is Article one zero one zero or Article one zero four something they have said. There were other. Okay, I'll you to, to, be, to be quick. Yeah. You can... Find, yeah, yeah, concluding. Yeah. So, in short, what I'm saying, Parliament wants to remove the need of a president. And the same Parliament wants to restore immunity. So, in short, what I'm asking, who restored this 
nuclear bundle immunity. We started at that time from being to restore nuclear bundle immunity. Who is nuclear bundle immunity? Did he die with his immunity removed? Okay. Or did he die with his immunity not removed? Okay. Mr. President, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. I'll let you respond to him because he's uh, asked a number of issues that he wants you to cover. Look, if Mr. Kasoka, Kasoka mm -hmm. is writing a book, let him revise, you know, that book. Okay? Mm. Mr. Kasoka, if you are, I hope you are listening. If you are writing that book, sir, please revise the chapters in your book because your facts are wrong. Okay? Fact number one, which is wrong. At the time when he, I moved the motion to strip late President Rupia Banda of his immunity, it didn't require a two-thirds majority. It was a simple majority. Go back to that to that article in the Constitution at that time. So correct that in your book, sir. Number two, the small group of the UPND, sorry, of MMD then, and UPND walked out of Parliament. The quorum was still maintained. And the speaker went ahead to conduct a vote. And the vote was unanimous. Correct that in your book. Fact number three, which you need to correct. There is no constitutional provision which says if you are a member of parliament, you can't be appointed minister the way Rusam was appointed. Wrong fact. So if you want your book to sell, Please correct those facts. Thank you. All right, zero nine double seven six two four two seven zero is uh, the number that you're using to get you to us. Good morning. Morning. Yes, good morning to you, sir. Yeah, my name is Mwaseza Boys. Did you talk about the Good morning. Thank you. And cost. Uh, I have been always advising you, Mister Winterkalimba, that when you are giving chance to speak to the people yes. as you are claiming that you are a leader of a political party. Uh -huh. But there are some things which has got substance by people in their listening area and they will say, yes, this one is a, a political leader. Why are you Who calling if what I'm saying has no substance? Why are you calling in? How do you come? Hello? Why are you calling in if, if what I'm saying has no substance? Just ignore me and get on with your work. No, uh, uh, because you, 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 want to be, you want to be my leader in one of these days. Not you, yourself. Because it, it, it doesn't matter. If I don't vote for you, it's the majority. Vote yes. for you, you'll be my president. But exactly. I need to guide you before you become a president. Thank you for that confession. You cannot come there and start talking about the uh, HHC house. HHC cannot fail to renovate his house if he managed to build all that house. How can fail to renovate just to show you things to, he, can, he want to put there. You have been uh, lying to the Zanians that you get it, uh, constructed a road which goes to his house. Are you sure that road is only that is used to treat it? Or does it end at the kid of it? That's why we need to change the line the line is breaking a bit, sir. Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'm saying the line is uh, breaking slightly. Okay, uh, you may have to call us back. I don't know because uh, the line was... Uh, no, I've heard what you said. Yeah. I've heard what you said. All right, so uh, if you've heard, then uh, maybe let's pick up some more so that uh, maybe we can have three uh, in total that you can respond to. Okay. Hello, good morning. You're through to live issues? Yeah, I'm going to go to the name. I'm going to go to the name. I'm going to go to the name. If you know I didn't have the Mujani name. I hope we know we know. In the
kuma government mwari kwata ku experience ya kweza ko abantu ifya kuchida bantu chitiba nene na muna kwa ti ifya ifya tete wale ta kwa ti ifya mfuro ke ke ka ka tro de ne pali ti pali ule mnando wali ku koti wa koti kwa tabadu ndo kwa ti be minina bana njira ti kuchiba kwa ti sambu ya ku minina kwa ti sambu na wa president we na ba tsatsenda ku maka no kwisa chama koti kuya kubika ko muntu wa wabo Thank you, Alena, to uh, Tashankoi for that submission there. Uh, let's bring in one more call, then uh, we can put a hold to the calls uh, as I allow my guests to respond to the submissions. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Uh, we can hear you. Good morning. Yes, yes, we can hear you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Yes, Uncle Joe, please go ahead with your submission. submission. Uh, President Kabimba, I'll bring you in uh, based on those allegations there. Well, just tell your Uncle Joe that he, if he doesn't understand English very well, he should just own up. Hmm. Uncle Joe, what about me in a camp, but I'll come out to you. I'm going to go to the road here. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to I've not incited anybody. Chamele na kamba ni ukamba kuti echechi mwine mukamwa kake anakamba ati ine ni kabwela ine imamose muzangala na njitu. Anayi kuzenguluka na kapamela kaunga ati muvuti kama ningi mu PF ine ni kabwela ine muzambo kula 25 kg mnani kumvela baya <coughs> Ba ba adibana ba brother Joe mm. Uncle Joe <coughs> Excuse me Mnani kumvera mweka anani ukamba kamwa kake sindi naye kumumanga kamwa ulikumuse gula kamwa So why are you blaming me today 
Why are you blaming me today? What wrong have I done? I'm just reminding the man about what he himself voluntarily said as an adult when he was campaigning. Strange vendors when I go under MMD, but I'm not going to go under MMD. He said, but I'm not going to That's what he promised them. And they are waiting for those jobs as they are street vending. So, it is you that are supporting him that are supposed to go and advise him. Please, do the man a favor. That is how they used to praise sing ECL. Just like that. There were other, you know, Uncle Joe's like you under PF. Go and advise the man. Because you are speaking for yourself. You may be even speaking from a tribal angle. There are other people out there that are going hungry and they are not happy with the, the UPND regime. And whether or not I, don't, I, I, I become president is neither here nor there. One thing that is fundamental is that I'm a citizen of this country. I'm a citizen of this country. I'm a shareholder of this country. And I don't want to be governed by somebody who is wrong. Even if I'm not president. And that I'll talk. At least you've said that I've got a, a small following. At least you have considered. That is important. I thought you were going to say I'm just alone with my wife. So, you, the praise singers of HH, do him a favor and tell him the truth. Don't allow him to walk around like a naked emperor. Because you'll be, you, you'll be the ones that are killing the man. And if you continue like that, HH won't go beyond 2026. That I can tell you. All right. Let's see if we can uh, allow... Uh, some few more calls uh, before we get to the end of the program. 0977 Be as brief as possible as you get through on the line. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is that live radio? Yes, you're through to live radio, sir. Who do we have on the line? You have Mr. Nsensema. Mr. Nsensema. Nsensema, sir. Nsensema, good to have you here. Where are you calling us from, sir? I'm calling you from Kitwe. Okay, talk to us. Yes, sir. I'm calling you from Kitwe. Yes, sir. Other people have just used to be staying in that state house. So, say, 
you so much, Mr. Gavimba. You are very objective. You are the most experienced leader that you have in this country. And that is the leader who is very honest. Okay? From the time you left government, Mr. Gavimba, we've never heard of you being followed by ACC. That means you conducted yourself very objectively. We have yeah. never heard you being followed by the Drug Enforcement Commission that you have stolen what and what from this country. That kind of people, you are the people that this country needs. The country that has passion for the people of Zambia. The country, the people, the, the president that believes in the, in, the, in the Zambian people, that they can, they can, they can run their own affairs. Not really the president that we are seeing that are always looking up to the outside world to always get the support. The last couple that I want you, Mr. Gavimba, to talk about is the 188 million that has been given by the IM of the disbasement. Now, it makes me so shameful, Mr. Gavimba. We are clamping for 188 million so far that has been disbased by uh, IM. The money that we can still raise from the small scale mining sector in this country, because we have lots of mineral resources in this country. We have got sea life, we have got gold got manganese that can easily be extracted by our own people to even raise that 188 million. Now we are always needing every time bow and hand to the IMF. What is 188 million compared to the respect that we have in this country? The gold, the fertilizer, and the other a lot of mineral resources that is not being exploited by the Zambian people. But we are always going to, to the IMF. We do not know why the European and the plan that they have on these, these fossil mining sectors. Mm -hmm. We don't know the plan that they have on Switzerland. We don't know the plan that they have got on gold. But they are busy going out there to make 188 million from IMF. Thank you so much, Mr. Gavimba. May God bless you. We appreciate uh, your submission, Mr. Hansis, all the way from uh, Kitwe. Let's uh, bring in the last three voice notes uh, that I have uh, received via WhatsApp this morning. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't uh, be doing justice if uh, we left our friends on WhatsApp hanging without obviously being hurt. Let's start with this one here. Uh, Mr. Karimba, thank you for correcting me. Uh, just a uh, previous caller. You know, there are people that just like talking just because they have to talk. Thank you for correcting all those causes. Then there are other people out there, um, out here who are also saying, ah, but he, you know what this man is saying is wrong. Thank you for correcting all those. Indeed, we've never seen such clauses where I say, a sitting MP of the constituents cannot be appointed as the official minister. You know, that is very wrong. That is very wrong. People must not just wake up from their blackness and come and mislead the people. If they want to please their party or their leadership in the party, please let them first get facts. Good morning, Live Radio, and good morning, Bawita Kabimba. Uh, Wawinta Kabimba, you have never loved the president from the time he was in opposition. Wawinta Kabimba, you can, we can never, you can never say anything good about the president because you hated them ever since. So, just stay back. We don't want you advice. We don't want anything because we, the president won the, the, with the majority without your vote, without your members' vote. So, there's nothing sinister that you can say uh, on the president as good thing that you have done. So. Are you telling us that there is nothing that the president has done? Look at the CDF. We have brought in CDF. <laughs> All members of parliament, they can now utilize that CDF. <laughs> Even in PF, we have members of parliament like Kachibia. And uh, we have a lot of people uh, that are benefiting from CDF. Look at the resentment of or introduction of uh, buzz, uh, meal allowances in, in, in government training institutions. All that you cannot see. Look at the uh, free education from grade 8, which has been introduced to grade 12. Are you telling us that you are blind? But we can come in, but sober up with uh, my, 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 my big man. Come and bring alternative uh, ideas. Zambians now uh, have awakened up. They are looking for a position that can give alternative. Not hate speech, no. So, what we are saying is that you can never appreciate the president and be it to you because we don't want your advice. Uh, let the president wait. Yes, the issue of meeting me, it will be sorted out. All of us, we are feeling the impact, but that you cannot decampaign the president over the issue of meeting me. So, watch and see. The two, the, 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 the one million different votes that we, we, uh, we amassed. In 2026, I'm telling you to be 5 million. Watch and see. This is Zambia, I'm telling you. Opposition, you have nothing to offer. So, uh, 
just uh, be the way you are. We don't want your advice. This is comment from Mrs. Here. Thank you. Good morning, my best man, Eugene, and good morning, uh, President Winter Kabimba. Uh, President uh, Winter Kabimba, uh, you are a blessing to this country. Uh, why I'm saying so? Because uh, you have got full of wisdom and uh, uh, knowledge, so to say. We don't have politicians in this country who thinks like you. That is the problem that we have in this country. It is my prayer that we can have politicians who think like you, then we are going to have a better Zambia. Because this is our country. What, are, what, what, what is going on in this country right now with this government of UPND and President HH is a terrible, to be honest with you. Today I was, I was, past, I was passing a, a, a town I find a lot of officers, police officers, with guns and so on and so forth, uh, removing vendors without any notice. And those people, they are preparing now to start paying uh, to Marendi Twao, Kumanyumba, and so on and so forth. And this time, Vajabantuvalubana, which is very bad. President Wintagabimba, we need you in this country that you can save us. Uh, you can save us to this uh, UPND uh, government. We need you. We need your, your 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 leadership, so to say, because President H H he has failed completely. Look at the price of milli meal. Look at the price of fuel. They promise us heaven and the earth, but what they are doing right now is terrible. It's wrong. We are dying with this government of UPND and President HH. Mr. Gabimba, help us. You have got experience in this politics, Vamdala. You are a man. Eh, you are a man. I know that UPND guys, they are going to call and they start no, telling you, hey, what, 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 don't worry about UPND. Those are pressing us. Like the way but radio, they want to show like he, they are supporting and so on and so forth, many of their crime. We are behind you, Mr. President Kabimba. God bless you, sir. All right. Thank you so much uh, uh, to all those that uh, reached out on us uh, using the WhatsApp platform as well. We had to give you, uh, uh, you know, an opportunity to be heard as well. Uh, President, I'll let you respond to those and uh, we can uh, call it a wrap today. Well, uh, <coughs> thank you very much, Eugene. I think I think the bottom line is this to our colleagues in the in the UPND. Thank you very much for those that have followed the, this program and the, uh, agree with my my views on many of the issues. I don't expect everybody to agree with me. You know, this is a democracy. But uh, when you start calling on me, you know, to love HH, you are talking to a, a wrong man. I don't have to love the I don't have to fall in love with the, the president. That's, the, that's not the, Even the 2.8 million people that voted for him, it was not out of love. They voted for him because he promised to come and improve their livelihood. That's why they voted for him. They didn't vote for him out of affection. Okay? If what I'm saying is not enough advice, you know, or to HHE, then you should have a to no, no, a party for him. That's what the members say. Because I think I'm rendering very honest and the, uh, unreserved piece of advice to HH. And I'm saying that <coughs> I've seen these things before. I've seen these things before. I'm not of this generation. I've seen these things before. And I can tell you Without being a papa, I know how he may end up. I know how he may end up if he doesn't take corrective measures, you know, learning from history. So I like, you know, what Comrade Nsensema said, that 
keep this clip so that in future you can come back and say, I said it. I warned this man. I cautioned him. And he didn't want to listen. There's a very interesting book which has been written by, you know, which is, an, which is a biography on Richard Nixon. And I like the title. It's entitled The Arrogance of Power. That's the title of that book. The Arrogance of Power. Because Nixon, President Nixon of the United States, when he, be, when he became president, he became arrogant with the power in his hands. The beautiful biography, which people like HH should read, The Arrogance of Power. Okay? And when you have power in your hands, and you become arrogant, Nixon ended up, you know, in trouble. Everybody that has power in their position and they have been arrogant, they have ended up in trouble. So, if you, my colleagues, my dear brothers, uh, you know, and sisters in the UPND, think that uh, I don't like HH, I'm, I, I'm probably the one who likes him more than you. Because we are leading him into the ditch, and I'm trying to get him out of that ditch. So, this is uh, my last comment, Eugene. Thank you very much for the invite extended to EF. I was telling my colleagues that are seated with me here that I almost changed my mind because I was working mm -hmm. up to 0, 0.130 this morning. I'm writing a book myself, my memoir, with better facts than Mr. Kasoka. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I uh, hope you can read my book. Uh, what would be the title, if I may ask? Or maybe you prefer uh, to keep it... Uh... I don't want to give you the title now, because you may not buy it. So oh. I'll wait and... <laughs> okay. I'll come and launch it on this program. Awesome. Yeah. President Kabimba, thank you so much. We appreciate you, thank you. Uh, being a part of uh, Live Issues today. This is DJ Mutati Exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.